This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad Y570 laptop computer with a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the screen on a Lenovo Y570 laptop computer. Okay, before we do anything, we want to take out the battery to make sure it's safe to work on. So there's two levers on the back. One unlocks the battery and one takes the battery out. Make sure the one that unlocks the battery, the red is showing. Let's slide over so that the red is showing. And then the one on the right, just slide it to the right and take the battery out. Now the laptop is safe to work on. So next thing to do is to take out the screen. In order to do that, we need to remove the screen bezel. In order to do that, we need to remove the two screws on the bottom down here that secure the screen bezel to the screen assembly. And in order to get to the screws, we need to remove the little plastic covers that are covering up the screen. All right, so before we go any further, let's show you the tools we're going to use. An electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. bit. PH stands for Phillips and 1 stands for size. Just in case for smaller screws, we have a PH0 bit. We're not sure if we're going to need that yet. We have an X-Acto knife to remove the little plastic covers. And a pair of sharp metal tweezers to manipulate cables and to remove screws that are stuck. All right, so let's get started. So first, we need to remove the plastic screw covers. We use our X-Acto knife to do that. And what we like to do is just put them on the side here, stick them on the side so they don't get lost. They're really easy to lose. So the second one too, like so. All right, now the screws are exposed and we just remove them with the screwdriver. One screw, and two. I like to keep different sets of screws in separate piles, so when you're putting everything back together, you're not confused which screws go where. All right, once you remove the screws, we snap off the screen bezel. This is probably the hardest part of the whole job, so uh, take your time on this and just go slowly. What I like to do, put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and you'll hear snapping sounds. Like so. This one is easier than most, but it just depends on the laptop and even the same laptop can be easy or hard. So this one came right off. So we put it to the side, and now the screen assembly is exposed. The way that this screen is held is there's some metal mounting brackets on the side, and there's some screws on the side that go into the screen. Now we need to expose the screws. Right now we can't get to them because they're hidden behind the screen assembly. So we need some way to tilt the screen forward a little bit. And what we do for that is there's two screws that are holding the metal brackets to the screen assembly to the top up here. We next remove these screws. One. And two. Okay. So almost lost this one, but it's here. All right. Next, we try to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit. See if that gives us enough to get to the screws, and it doesn't give us enough to get to the screws. So here's what we're going to do for our next trick. There are some screws that hold the screen, the metal mounting brackets to the screen assembly on the bottom, right here and here where my fingers are pointing. So we don't remove those, we just loosen them, maybe a few turns. That way we can tilt the screen forward a little bit more. 
Okay, you can see it tilted back a little bit. And now we can get to the screws on the side. There's two screws on the side, here and here. So let's remove these screws. There's one. And we're using the pH 1 bit for all this. We're not going to need the pH 0 bit for this job. Two. Okay, now you saw what just happened when the screen got released from no matter brackets bracket it fell back. So you want to sure make sure your screen assembly is tilted back a little bit when you do this so the screen doesn't pop forward on you. Okay. Next we'll do the same thing on the other side. Remove the two screws. One. And Two. Okay, so the screen is free from the middle mounting brackets. And what we do next is gently start tilting the screen forward to make sure there's nothing in the way. And so far there's nothing. Alright, this is a 15.6 inch LED screen, so there's only one connector down here. And we just have to remove this connector and the screen will be off. So there's some adhesive tape securing the connector. We lift this adhesive tape up. Let's get a closer shot. Okay. And usually with the video connector, well, let's, let's take a look. Let's free up the cable a little bit so we have more to work with. With the video connector, there's usually adhesive on the back so it's attached to the screen also. So we gently lift that up, being careful not to damage anything. This one's a little bit stronger than usual, so we go very slowly and very gently start pulling it up. Okay, now it's up. We're going to pull the connector out and it's out. Okay, before we go any further, out of all the mistakes that I've seen people do, when they reconnect this connector to a new screen, it's not always a good connection. So, when you do it, you slide it in, and you almost feel a click when it's in. So let's get a good close-up. Let's take a look. Okay, and get a good focus. All right, pause the video right there, and when you reconnect your video cable, make sure it looks exactly like this. Make sure there's no gaps. All right, so just that. So let's keep moving. Let's put the video camera back on. All right, so I'm going to take the connector back out again. Alright, and let's take a look at this screen. Uh, this is a very standard screen, probably the most popular screen that goes into laptops as of mid-2011. So let's take a look at the part number for the screen. It's B156XW02. So when you do your search on Google and eBay, that's what you search on. And most likely, you will not get the same exact part number, but you'll get a compatible screen. Now, we as screen surgeons, we also sell these screens, and that's how we pay the bills and make these videos. So you can buy it from us. So what you do is go to screensurgeons.com, click on Buy a Screen, and then there will be a link to the Lenovo Y570 laptop, and click on that link, and it will take, us direct, take you directly to that catalog page. Now, when you buy from us, you will have uh, a free email technical support when you install the screen, and we also have a compatib compatibility guarantee. We guarantee you that the screen will ship, will be compatible with the laptop. Okay, uh, that's it. So when you're ready to put it back in, you reconnect the cable, just like I showed you. Make sure you do that part right. That's the biggest source of mistakes. 
put the screen back in and then put the screws in on the sides. The second biggest source of mistakes is people forget to tighten these. So make sure you get them tightened or your screen assembly is going to break after a while. And then put these screws on and snap the screen bezel back on and then just put the screws on the side and you should be good to go and we're ready to be done. Okay, uh, my name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much.